This is Sound and Vision on KEXP. I'm Emily Fox, and I'm joined by KEXP's Martin Douglas, writer behind KEXP's local music column, Throwaway Style, and Eva Walker, host of our Northwest music show, Audio Oasis. They are here to share some songs for a local edition of Living Singles. Hello, hello. It is great to be back on Living Singles. Hello, it is good to be on Living Singles for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> well, so each of you brought two songs to share by local artists today. Eva, let's start with you. What is the first song that you want to share? Uh, the first one I'm going to share will be The Smokes out of Spokane. Uh, So the song is called Night Rider, and I got hip to the smokes because of, oh, how did I get hip to them? I think Jack and Dino may have told me about them. I don't totally remember, but he was working with them, and he worked with them on this record. And I chose the first track, Night Rider, just because I love it so much. Um, But they are two cousins, I believe, and they just rock really hard. (laughs) And it's always nice to see, like, family bands, let alone black family bands and rock black family bands (laughs) it's right up my alley i have a type (laughs) you do love your uh your family bands i sure do (laughs) and again for those that do not know eva is in a band with her brother called the black tones which her twin brother her twin brother yes (laughs) (laughs) that is important information (laughs) (laughs) it is all right well let's listen to the smokes with knight rider Yeah, that song rips. I Does mean, it? yeah, like I, I mean, in my years of um, music journalism, trying to trying to find out the root of, you know, musicality and lyricism and things like that. Sometimes it's nice to hear something that just rips and be able to find myself in that place where I'm just grooving to a song that really rocks. Yeah, and what I really like about this particular song on this album is that the minute it starts, it's it sounds nostalgic, you know? It's got that, that humming sound in the background, that Like, there's something really nostalgic about that as a, a child who grew up in the 90s. Um, and, and that's one of the things that drew me to that particular song. But the lyrics itself throughout the song, it's, it's pretty much like a folk song, you know? Um, music of the folks. <laughs> So that was the smokes with Night Rider, and now um, Martin, let's let's have you share um, a song today. All right, one of the songs that I would like to share is a song by the band Lemon Boy. It is called Body Horror. The Bandcamp description for Lemon Boy is three ethnically ambiguous girls screaming in the mics which is like one of my one of my all-time favorite music genres <laughs> and i saw their very first show it was at like this backyard market that my girlfriend was a vendor for and it was like wow this this band is really cool i like their songs they have this um really great really great sort of poppy grungy sound and so yeah it's a uh, very much reflected in the music that they have been doing since their first show. All right, let's take a listen. This is Lemon Boy with a song, Body Horror. I got hairy legs and armpits. I got metal in my nose. My breath smells like bong water. I want you to know. I think you love me. All right, that was Body Horror by the band Lemon Boy. Man, those lyrics really stand out to me, and I feel like are very 
Seattle in a way. Oh yeah, very much so. Um, I feel like musically and lyrically, this song is a lot darker than the uh, than the songs that they've put out in the past. Much like their 2021 single, Sugary Daddy, I feel like body horror conveys an almost confrontational feminist stance, which again, you know, something I identify with, maybe not personally, but definitely feel the spirit of when I listen to music. Eva, did you want to come out on this song before we move on to the next one? Yeah, I thought it was rad. Um, I like Lemon Boy. I've played, um, I played that song, Sugary Daddy, actually, on Audio Oasis before. And yeah, I, I've actually been looking forward to more music uh, from them. So that was pretty cool. <laughs> I haven't heard that one yet. That was awesome. Yeah, it's brand new. So, Martin, you brought another one to the table. It's the song Cognitive Whirlpool. What's struck you about this song or, or what, what really stands out to you about this, this band? The thing that I like about the song in particular is that it turns the mundane existence of corporate working life into something literally frightening. Because, like, when, you know, we're going to listen to the song, but when you listen to the song, it's very dissonant. It's, it hits these chords that kind of make you physically anxious. And I think that perfectly conveys with the lyrics that they are speaking, singing, almost screaming. <laughs> All right, let's take a listen. Yeah, I gotta say those those instrumentals are uh, are I feel like stress inducing in a way. Oh yeah, absolutely. And you know, cowbell is supposed to be joyous, but here it's like it adds to the to the anxiety of the track. Yeah, totally. All right, Eva, do you want to take us out with um with another local Seattle area song you want to share with us, or I guess Washington song you want to share with us? Yeah, this is a bit of an older one. This came out in 2020 off of a record called Tan Camel and this artist goes by Sea Life. The first time I heard this song I was like what the hell is this? I think it's probably one of my if not the most one of my most played songs on Audio Oasis and there was one particular night um, after Audio Oasis, I played the song, did the rest of the show. I was driving. I got a call saying, hey, uh, come to your mom's house after your show. I was like, OK. So I get in the car and I have this song on repeat over and over and over again, just singing like crazy to it. I love it so much. And I have it all the way, I don't know how many times it, it played back until I got to my mom's house. But I get there, um, the song ends, I get out of the car, I go up to my mom's house, and then I learn that my stepdad is going to die within uh, 24 hours from cancer. And oh, so it's a song that um, reminds me of that time. But also, I don't know exactly what the song is about, but for me, it's... I associate it with death because of that, of what happened. But also um, there's a part in the middle of the song where he's singing, you are going to see me in hell if you go with me into the well. If you feel that you're not doing well, aren't you glad we live to tell the tale? And that's sort of like this bridge area of the song. But it's it, it's a song I associate with with death and the starboard hotel being kind of like the afterlife in a way. I, I don't believe in like a real afterlife, but yeah, it's, it's a, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind of cheery, but I kind of like um, cheery songs that remind me of death a little bit. So there you go. There's your introduction. <laughs> well, let's take Sleep a listen. On that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's take a listen. Tale. 
I'm so sorry for the loss of your stepdad because he was a big impact on you, yeah? He was. Um, him and my mom got together when I was nine years old, so he was, I, I, I've known him for a very, very long time, and um, he was a civil rights activist, actually, and he died the day before the murder of George Floyd, which wow. was also a, just a, a, his death was a slap in the face, but that, with what he did with his life, and then that happening was an even bigger slap in the face. So that was a really hard year. And uh, strangely <laughs> enough, this song was one of the songs that helped me get through that year. Hmm. Well, yeah. I'm so glad music could be could be there um, for you during during those oh, yeah. times. Well, Martin and Eva, thank you so much for sharing these songs with us today. And uh, I'm so glad that both of you here to uh, champion uh, Northwest music. Thank, thank you. you. That was Sound and Vision. Please take a moment to subscribe, rate, and review this podcast, and consider giving a one-time $20 donation to help support this show at kexp.org slash sound. Thanks for listening.